Hello and welcome to the very first edition, the first episode of Crosby's Nine Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning into this very first episode. What does Crosby's Nine mean? Well, my intention is to help you with your English language in nine minutes. That's right, in nine minutes. How can you improve your English in nine minutes? Well, with this podcast, we will do so looking at lots of different ways that you can improve your English language with this English language training in nine minutes. And it keeps it easy for you. We are so busy nowadays, running around, so busy, getting things done. But if you take nine minutes out of your life to listen to this podcast, I guarantee you that you will improve your English. And how? How will you improve your English? Well, you're doing it right now. You are improving your English simply by having tuned in. Tuned in. I like that phrasal verb, to tune in. We will learn a lot of phrasal verbs. You'll practice a lot of phrasal verbs in Crosby's Nine. These podcasts will help you with phrasal verbs and lots of other things that I'll talk about in just a minute. Other facets of learning English. There are so many ways and facets uh, of the English language, ways to learn the English language, and so many facets, and we'll talk about that on the the podcast, Crosby's Nine, very, very often. But let's take a look at that phrasal verb, to tune in. To tune in is basically to synchronize your radio or synchronize your computer or your podcast channel, in this case, to the program that you want to listen to, to tune in. Thank you for tuning in. And so when you learn a new verb or when you learn a new phrasal verb, use it. Start using the new vocabulary that you will learn in these podcasts. It's the only way really to consolidate it, to incorporate the new vocabulary into your language, into your day-to-day. I remember when I was learning Spanish, and I'm still learning Spanish, always, right? I live here in Madrid, Spain. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, Illinois, not Illinois, Illinois, and uh, I have been learning Spanish for many, many years. You never stop learning, but when I began learning Spanish many years ago, when I learned a new word, when I learned a new expression, I used it. I wanted to use it immediately. I wanted to use it the same day I learned it. So I would go out with my friends, my Spanish friends, and I would learn the new Spanish expression or the new word. And they would look at me and say, what are you talking about? That has nothing to do with what we are talking about. And I said, I know, but I want to use it. So don't be afraid to use your new language, your new words, your new phrasal verbs, your new expressions that we will look at on this program. So again, thank you for tuning in to the very, very, very first episode of Crosby's Nine Podcasts, where we will look at the English language and everything else in nine minutes. And I have to admit, I chose the number nine because it's my favorite number. It has been my favorite number since I was nine. I'll have to tell you the story briefly. When I was nine, when I turned nine, remember the verb to turn In this case, you turn years. I turned nine. I turned nine in 1975. Uh Aha! I am telling you my age. But when I turned nine in 1975, the day I turned nine, I turned on Sesame Street. I was watching television. I was watching Sesame Street. And you know how Sesame Street focuses on a particular letter or they focus on a tip. Uh, particular word or they might focus on a particular date or historical moment. That day, the day I turned nine, Sesame Street was focusing on the number nine. And there was a little boy, a little cartoon on Sesame Street of a little boy who woke up in the morning and he was celebrating. He celebrated his birthday. Today I'm nine. I turned nine today. I turned nine today. And I was watching this on my ninth birthday thinking to myself, no, this is not happening. (laughs) I am watching a boy turn nine on Sesame Street and I turn nine today. And so I think probably that's why nine became my favorite number. 
and since then, for many, many years, I have seen the number nine uh, in certain lucky circumstances. I've been lucky with the number nine. I have, and I'm not superstitious, but I have had soccer jerseys with the number nine. When I played baseball, my number was nine, and so I imagine most of you have a favorite number nine. And so today I'm telling you, yes, we have chosen the number nine. I chose the number nine for this podcast, Crosby's Nine, because we will focus on the language, the English language, in nine minutes. And as I mentioned to you, we will look at vocabulary. We will look at pronunciation. You will improve your pronunciation. We will look at phrasal verbs and you will improve your accumulation and your use of phrasal verbs. We will also look at expressions. Huge, right? Expressions are so important in any language. As I learned here in Spain, it's so important to learn expressions. Well, when you learn English, and you will learn many expressions with me, please use them. Use them as you learn them. And of course, spelling. Now, spelling we will focus on from time to time as well. It's not easy to spell in English. Growing up, as kids in countries that where language is the native language, we practice spelling with what's called a spelling bee. These contests growing up, these contests in class, where the teacher would give us a, a miniature competition called a spelling bee. We will look at spelling. And how will you improve your vocabulary, your pronunciation, your phrasal verbs, your expressions and your spelling, how will you focus on this the way you are focusing on it right now? You are listening to me. And by listening, you will increase, improve, you will improve your speaking. And you may ask yourselves, how can I improve my speaking by listening? And my answer to you, fellow listeners, is by repeating. If you repeat what you learn on these podcasts, if you repeat what I say, you, in essence, are speaking and you are practicing new words and expressions and you are exercising these new words and expressions out loud. So my suggestion is to speak. In other words, repeat what I repeat. Repeat what I say over and over and over and over and over. You might be in the car right now. You might be at home. You might be cooking. You might be studying English. I don't know if it's possible to listen to a podcast and study English at the same time. Of course, by listening to the podcast, yes, but other material I'm not so sure. But what I am sure of is that if you repeat, you will improve your speaking. So all of these different elements exist in learning a language, right? Vocabulary words. We need vocabulary. We need pronunciation. We need phrasal verbs. We need, of course, expressions. We need to know how to spell words. We need to know how to listen properly, which I would argue is probably the most important area of learning a language. Listening. If you don't understand what is happening in a conversation, it doesn't matter how many words you know. It doesn't matter how good your grammar is. You can't participate. You absolutely need to know how to listen and you need to uh, focus your listening. Your listening comprehension needs to improve and that is what you will do with these podcasts. So I want to thank you very much for tuning into the first Crosby's Nine podcast as we will have many, many more. I look forward to sharing these experiences with you listeners. Thank you so much. We will see you soon. That's all for now. Bye-bye.